Greetings. I would like to get this proxon ready for tomorrow. It doesn't mean I will, but I will try. My intentions are to test every single component on that driver board. If you haven't seen in the previous video where I had a quick look at it, it does work, does turn, but the motor is very jerky. It's not spinning smoothly, so I'm not sure what is wrong with this. Whether it's the driver board or the motor itself, we'll have that tested today. Testing the easiest thing first, the motor itself. I've connected it to DC power supply. I've got it at 28 volts right now, and if I switch it on, it runs absolutely smoothly. Yes, it's not up to full power, but um, yeah, motor is not the issue over here at all. I just noticed something. Um, the wire that goes to the motor is holding on on just one strand over here. It's not really well connected. So could that be the problem of the intermittent speed issue? This was the only strand that was actually connected. So uh, let's get it cut off flush and stripped. Okay, that's connected properly now. I've got it connected to the mains. No, that was not the problem. So I've desoldered the caps from the board over here. Three of those X2 caps, uh, 275 volts rated. Okay, it comes out okay. And this one claims to have ESR of 2 ohms. Let's test it again. Yeah, so that's uh, a little bit dodgy. Let's try this one. 2.1 ohms okay so that's similar like the other okay I've done a little experiment I've disconnected the motor from the driver board and I've connected a 30 watt halogen bulb just to see what uh, what's going to be happening and uh, keeping in mind that this is all live at mains voltage I am um, if I just turn it down you can see it's flickering it's not switching smoothly I mean this circuit should be switching at 50 Hz, but it's not, and this is where that jerkiness comes from. I'm not entirely happy that this Diac over here, DB3, is all good, but I haven't got one to hand while I didn't have one, so being resourceful, um, I've had an old dimmer switch, actually it's new, brand new, not unused, so I've taken one of the dimmer modules out, and here is what's inside. So we've got a very similar circuit, a few surface mount parts and over here we've got a 3 pin package marked DB3 and this is the same diac that we had on that board so I'm going to desolder this one and put it in place of that one and see what happens. Here is the diac, I gave it some legs so, it, so I was able to connect it to the through hole board. Haha, <laughs> success! So the diac was the issue. Okay, I am really happy with that. Let me give you another zoom in on this contraption. So I was able to get it fixed using some salvaged parts, or a salvaged part. This diac, little diac here, DB3, and this was pulled out from a dimmer switch, like this. fixed. Hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this one. For the time being, take care. <laughs>